back. So productive day at work. I'm a divorce mediator. I just apply lube to the situation, but everyone still gets fucked in the end. Well, you have a way with words. <laughs> yeah, I'm a regular Ayn Rand. So, Ayn Rand, you think maybe we could grab that drink you keep telling me some of the time about? Some other time. For the health drink type. Oh, I'm not. I just figured if I ran into you a couple more places that it would add up to a date. Well, persistence is not your weakness, is it? Nah, nah, it's not. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna order? Oh, um, let me get the, uh, let me get the, let me get the orange juice. Okay, alright. Hi, can I have a cucumber green tea latte with matcha and honey, please? Thank you. Sounds sweet. You seem like a great guy. You really do. But I'm just not someone who's going to let new people into our life. I mean, I've had the same friends since I was in kindergarten. And day in and day out, I see people who feel like the person they're with is not the person that they marry. So you don't get to know people because you don't know them. Right. You're going to end up a cat baby. I only have one cat. And that's where it begins. I just don't know the drama that comes from the unknowns of dating somebody, you know? If he's cute and seems like a nice guy, why not give him a chance? That's just it. Everybody seems nice at first, and then six months, a year, five years down the road, you're waking up next to a stranger. Sorry to tell you this, but that's life, you ask. I don't know. I mean, he seems nice, he's cute, funny, and he seems to have a good job. If he's really all that, then why isn't he booed up by now? Yeah. Well, too bad you can't know what he's like down the road. Guess you just have to get to know him. Oh my god, that's it. You're a genius. I love you. I'll call you back. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hey, Donovan. It's Yasmin. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to hear from you. What's that noise in the background? I mean, um, are you busy? Oh, no, no, I'm just doing some late night laundry. Okay. Uh, so, what's up? I want to get to know you better. Okay. <laughs> but first, I want to get to know you better. Uh, is that like some Chinese riddle or something? <laughs> Before we proceed any further, I want to meet your exes. You wanna see my, my exes? Wait, what, why? The only perspective you can give me is the one you present, but your exes can tell me who you were and who you became. That sounds so crazy. Well, these are my conditions. I don't even think I have any of their numbers anymore, to be honest, Jasmine. Oh, please. They have Facebook. You know their names. Just send me a link to their profile and wow. I'll add them. You're serious about this? Dead serious. Fine, fine. I mean, it's not like I <laughs> got right, anything well, to I'll hide Call them and I'll get back to you. Oh, hopefully to get together? We'll see. Good night, Donovan. Good night. This should be interesting. Hi, you must be Evelyn. Please, come in. Wine? What's in it? Wine? Did you
Yeah, man. So, you know, I think I've been making progress with that girl. You know the one I was telling you in my building? Yeah. You guys, you guys get together yet? Hopefully soon. I mean, she just had this one condition, though. <laughs> condition? What? You, you need a doctor's note? Yeah. Well, what, what condition? <laughs> she want to see my exes? <laughs> yeah, right. You're kidding, right? Van, tell me you ain't agree to this. I didn't. Oh. What? I mean, it's, it's not like I ever beat up on every girl I ever been up with. Who's she meeting? You know, Giordano, Anthony, Evelyn. What? Who? Evelyn, man. She's named Evelyn. You're bringing this girl you say you like to the devil's madame? No good can come of this, Van. It's not a good look, Van. Shit. You think I should be worried? Very! Wait, when, is, when is this going down? I don't know, man. Wait, so this could be happening right now. This this inquisition yes. could be happening right now. Now, I need to get drunk. One of us has to be getting drunk, right. and we're gonna be making drunk decisions. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> so, what is it that you do? I'm a divorce mediator. So it's your business to be up in people's business. Huh. You know, I don't really see it that way. Hi, you must be Bethany and Giordana. I'll save you the pain of butchering my name. Hello. Yours is chilling in the freezer. I'll check on it in a minute. Firstly, I just would like to thank you guys for coming. I know this was a strange request. Um, I know you probably came out of curiosity, but we've all been in relationships before, and we know that the person you meet is not necessarily their true personality. So I want to get to know from your perspectives what it was like being with Donovan. Oh, he is so caring. One at a time. So one at a time. He's useful. Van is sweet. Job. Okay. Uh, what about why don't we start with why things didn't work out? I mean, my interactions with him have been pleasant but brief. He seems, you know, cute, funny, nice. But if he's all that, I'm wondering why is he still available? Is all of those things? I personally couldn't handle his immaturity at the time, especially when he's with that fool Vin. Oh, I like Vin. Honestly, I don't know why we broke up. I mean, one day Van just came to me and said he thought we were better as friends. I think it had to do with the fact that I wouldn't sleep with him. Okay, so he wasn't willing to wait. How long were you guys together? Uh, two years. Mm. Me and Donnie made love in three countries in one day. What? Who is Donnie? It's my nickname for Donovan. Donnie and Donna. I love that one. <sighs> he just couldn't keep up with my lifestyle. But what is it that you do? I couldn't get a clear picture from your Facebook. I'm a model. Oh, like a fashion model? Oh, Instagram model. I get paid to be pretty. You know, the irony is that men use their money to attract women, yet say they don't like gold diggers, and women use their bodies to attract men, yet don't want to be viewed as sexual objects. Truth is, dating and marrying for love is just a Western fairy tale that usually ends in heartbreak or divorce. Fact is, my beauty is an asset, and it's valuable, and people should pay to enjoy it. Like, look, you would be so pretty, right? If you just, what are you doing? Do not even think about it. No, stop. We Look. Yes, give him a little shake. Call him shake. Yes. You. 
No, I'm not yes. wearing glasses, and my hair's already down. Okay. Okay. How he hangs with a dipshit like you, I will never understand. Yeah. I'm on speakerphone, aren't I? Well, cell phones cause cancer. I don't like putting them up to my ear. Evelyn, you better not be. <sighs> Hello? Turn up on me. Oh. Yo. That went well. I don't know how you could have stand her. Her? She who shall not be named. Evelyn, she wasn't even that bad, dude. Like, you was just mad because she was too headstrong. Any woman who benches more than me is a problem. Then that's any girl who goes to the gym. That's messed up. You know I'm working on that. Come on, dude. Ah! Uh, I guess I'll just wait on that phone call. Come on, let's go. Oh, my <laughs> yeah, you can see, I got, I, got, I got a little something. Donovan used to always come into my bookstore. You know, how you just get to know someone's face after a while. And one day, he was just staring at a book. I mean, not reading it or nothing. And so I went over and I asked him if he needed any help. <laughs> and he said, I need a lot of help, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> and so, I mean, over time, we would just talk. And oh, he'd always tell me about his problems that, that he was having with woman he was seeing. She was kind of controlling. Stop and now, bitch. Keep putting your foot in your mouth. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. What, nothing happened while you two were together. Care. He wasn't man enough for me anyway. I first met Donovan when he came to the gym looking for a personal trainer. He almost died after one spin class. I had to drive him home. Felt sorry for him. He just, he couldn't handle my independence. Donovan was a sweet guy, you just didn't understand that. No, him. I understand you're a home-wrecking whore. Ooh. Excuse me? I'll have you know I'm saving myself for marriage. You're a virgin? Yes. Is that so bad? <laughs> no wonder <laughs> you and Van broke up. You probably hospitalized him with blue balls. Our intimacy was great, thank you very much. Have you ever heard of Tantric? Um, sex without sex? Oh. Yeah, you're pathetic. <laughs> Thank you guys yeah. again so much for coming. I mean, just like you, I didn't know what to expect. I mean, you seem like Johnny's type. You know, you got the whole basic thing going on. You two are going to get along well. Thanks, I guess. Okay. Mwah. Mwah. Bye. 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 Keep him away from Vin and he just might grow up. Good luck. Hey, Donnie. Uh, that was not... No, I was just kidding. Just kidding. Are you busy? No, no, no. Just, just sitting here listening to some music a little bit. You want to meet me tomorrow? Uh, sure. Whoa, I was not expecting that. Feels like I'm seeing an old friend. Oh, uh, some of the things went well. They went. You know, we talked about you. Talked about each other. Okay. We did each other's makeup. Had a pillow fight. You really? Know. <laughs> really? No. Well, mostly no. You know, Isn't that what you guys think happened when girls get together? I mean, not with Evelyn, man. Especially not with no pillows. A, a knife, maybe a <laughs> knife. You know, but you not are? no pillows. What's okay? Ooh, God, you must be Yasmin. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing here, bro? Okay. <laughs> oh, you said he was mean here. At the carousel. Meeting her, not you. Well, I thought you might need me to clear up no, some misunderstandings. Ow, ow, mommy, ow. Evil wimp. Vinny the Pooh. <laughs> hey, man. What's up, though? Out for a run? No. Okay. Well, you two look good together. Well, thank Best you. Of luck. Vin? Yep. 
Why don't you give them some space? Okay, yeah, you have space. You okay, space. well, either you go or I'm coming with you. God damn it! Yeah. Ow! 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 Hey, give me a call later. Hey. I got you. Oh, my God. 